Hey, what's up? I'm Daniel French. I was a fellow last year in One Beat, and uh, we're here now at Mendez High School in Boyle Heights. We're at the base of the First Street Bridge, and this whole week of events, we're calling uh, Beats and Bridges, and I've been able to work with a lot of folks in the ground, in the community, to come together with One Beat to kind of connect our stories and bridge both our communities physically and our stories, like, narrative-wise. My name is Emily Grijalva and I am a proud teacher here at Mendez High School. So the students that the One Beat Fellows are working with are um, what we consider our English language learners. So we have our newly arrived immigrants who are barely learning English and then we have um, students who were probably born here and English is uh, the language that they speak. but. Um, for several reasons, they just haven't been able to be successful academically. You know, they're usually kind of put aside or don't get a chance to really present and, you know, participate in these kind of activities. And I wanted them to see themselves as poets, musicians, you know, that what they had to say is extremely important and valuable and that they have a lot to contribute to the community. <laughs> everybody has to do. It's a group thing. <laughs> it's a group thing, so everybody has to do. Yeah? It's not difficult. Just left, right, left. Let's go, brother. <laughs> you have to do it with your hands. The, the hands help. There we go. And the hands. You do the hands and the feet first. And the hands now. Beautiful, well, now you have all these musicians from around the world. You're the bridge to, you know, Boat Heights. You get to tell them what your neighborhood is like. Um, and hopefully, you know, as I've been seeing them go through this process, there's been a lot of pride in the work that they've done and that they do have a lot to say and contribute. And they get to share their writing, which is something that I think it was really intimate for them. But they got to see how musicians loved it and wanted to sing the, you know, the words that they had written. So definitely it's like they're participating a lot more than they would in other classes. No, they are the lucha. Don't give up your dreams. I'm seeing kind of like these like shoulders go up and this kind of big smile in their faces. The musicians would be like, well, read that, read your work, right? And so you have these students all shy, kind of reading what they wrote and they'd be like, oh, I love that line. You know what? Let's sing it. And then they would all sing it. And this person's like, wow, like something that I wrote that, you know, normally maybe I didn't think was good enough. Now it's like we're singing it. It's part of the chorus. And now everybody's singing it. I hear music every day. I want to change the world. Let's do it again. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I hear music every day with my big neck voice. I want to change the world. Alright, we'll count. So definitely their participation, I think, is valued in this space. Um, it's appreciated, it's, you know, um, encouraged, and I'm seeing students, even like our really shy students who don't normally speak, like there they are singing along and, you know, really proud to share their work. Well, you just see, like, they're inspired, they're motivated, and they're really happy to be a part of this process. What's your dreams? <laughs>